If your ad sets aren't spending, there's probably two main points of failure you need to address as soon as possible. I want to show you guys is even as the platform becomes more competitive, especially in times like right now with Black Friday, there's a way to overtake the competition and get those high quality spots on the newsfeed and those high quality audiences. So this is actually the store that had the issues with the ads not delivering, the, the ad spend that was allocated not spending. So as you can see here, I was doing some data collection, started scaling, really just testing consistency. So this is more of a prospecting phase. phase. And then right here is when my ad account got incorrectly disabled. It was still driving revenue because I had Google retargeting ads set up. On the 14th, the ad account got re-enabled, still wasn't spending. I think it only spent like $100 to $200 this day. And I think it, it got like one sale. We'll actually pull my ad account here in a second and take a look at the actual results. Same issue the next day, I only spent like $200, but my budget was around $1,500 to $2,000. And then finally, I figured out what the issue was and it's starting to spend again very profitably. So I'll show you the actual return on ad spend for the past few days and show you what I did to correct this issue of my ads not spending. And ultimately, what, I, what, what I'm gonna teach you in this video can be used as a strategy to overtake competition, optimize your ads, and really drive as much profitability as possible. So let's hop into the ad account. So here's the ad account filtered today. Uh, so I had, as you guys saw, $1,524 in revenue so far, divided by my amount spent. So the actual return on ad spend is 3.17. Facebook is doing a horrible job tracking of, as of lately. Hopefully this update that they just released with automatic uh, advanced matching should help it out. But it's performing really well. A 3.17 return on ad spend is very profitable. My break even is about 1.36. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm getting these results by outbidding my competition, ensuring my audiences aren't overlapping, and ensuring that my audiences aren't saturated. So I wanna show you guys the most important tool that you can actually use, and it's completely free. There's all these tools out there that you pay X amount of dollars for per month to find products and whatnot. But what a lot of people are missing out on are the tools that are provided completely free that give you complete insight into the depths of the Facebook advertising platform. So I want to show you guys delivery view. And this is a what they call a one cheater. So this kind of takes you through everything about delivery view. I'm going to link this down in the description. Definitely go read through it. Uh, I'm going to give you an overview as I explain stuff in this video. But this is very important to go and learn about your bid strategies, auction competition, audience saturation, and auction overlap. And they clearly state this is going to show you how to see how your ad set is performing over time, analyze the key factors that's affecting delivery, and ultimately it's going to show you how to understand important aspects that you can use to quickly assess and improve your ad results. So if you're not finding success or you want to increase your success, Delivery view is how you do it and it's completely free. It is a little bit advanced, but even if you're a big beginner or intermediate, you should start learning it as soon as possible. So I'm gonna take you right in to the delivery view and show you what this is all about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna filter this. I'm gonna go to lifetime and then I'm gonna go into like what I've spent the most on. So this one, and then I've spent the most on this. So if you hover over delivery, so you need to have the delivery tab active. If you hover over delivery, if your ad set has at least 500 impressions in the last seven days, not including today, you will see this tooltip show up and you'll see this button called See Delivery Insights. So go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna make myself a bit smaller here so you guys can see more of this screen, but this is Delivery Insights and this is one of the most powerful tools you can use and if you're not using, you're missing out on additional income so here we have amount spent tab cost per result results and impressions and you can actually sort by the last 28 days so what the top tabs are going to show you is the number up here is the last active day so yesterday the no november 19th was the last active day you need to remember it's not going to show you the current day's results up here so this actually did not perform well yesterday so my cost per result was 142 dollars for this ad set and so I want to analyze what is going on. And 
we can sort through the tabs here and you'll see some different filters being applied to the graph. So let's start with the amount spent. So down here we have audience saturation, activity history, auction overlap and auction competition. Audience saturation is when the same people in an audience are seeing your ad repeatedly instead of your ad being shown to new people in the audience. And if you wanna learn more about this, you can hover over the audience saturation tab and also go back to the, the one sheeter and really get an in-depth dive into what audience saturation is all about. So let's take a look here. So this was the day that my ad account was disabled and I'm not gonna use this day necessarily to, to analyze because it was disabled, but what I wanna look at is my first time impression ratio. So this is gonna show me really if my audience is becoming saturated. The lower this percentage gets, the more saturated my audience is. So let's take a look here. This was a day it was re-enabled. And when I looked at this, I, you know, this brought concern to me because it did drop. It was a 57.5%. The this appeared as though my audience was becoming very saturated. But then I gave it another day and I realized, you know, it was just Facebook kicking back into gear and there's really no correlation to the uh, the amount spent and my audience saturation. So this really isn't the issue because as you see, it spent $20 and it had a 57.5 first time impression ratio. And then this day it spent three and had an 87.3. So there's no correlation here, so this isn't my problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at auction overlap. Um, also, I mentioned activity history just kind of shows you uh, what I was doing with the, the the ad set, any changes I made. So this is nice to keep track of it, and I'll explain some of these changes here in a second. Auction overlap is when you have an, ad, an audience inside of an ad set, let's say in campaign A, and you have another audience inside of an ad set in campaign B and those two audiences share a lot of the same people. So when it comes time to bid for that spot on the Facebook advertising platform, they're actually competing with themselves, and that is what auction overlap is. So auction overlap, it should explain, yeah, so what happens when your ad set targets part of the same audience as a different ad set in your account. When this happens, we remove your less competitive ad from the auction. So what will happen is that less competitive ad set will actually not spend because the better ad set in your account is spending on those same people. So to overcome this, I'll just tell you how to overcome this, and I believe it actually tells you in here too. You just want to duplicate those two audiences and let them work together as a team. It's very straightforward. Just remove one of them, add it to the other one, and you're good to go. So what I noticed with this auction competition tab is... As my ad account got disabled, it was a relatively low amount of competition. And so when my ad account got disabled and got re-enabled, I think Facebook viewed it as uh, there was like an issue with my ads. Like they just weren't performing. Um, it looked like I had I had cut off a lot of the, the ad spend allocated. So in Facebook's eyes, it was like I was punishing their system for doing a bad job. So what I think happened here, if you see this negative 25% auction competition, it should have been easy for me, right? I think Facebook was looking at it as, oh, he cut our budgets, we don't wanna spend much, we're not getting results, we have to be very hyper-focused on who we deliver this to. And what I needed to tell Facebook was no, I want you to spend, here's, here's as much money as you need to start spending. And by using an automatic bid, it wouldn't do that. So what I did here is, if you can see, I set a $50 bid cap. So this was like two or three X my, my target cost per purchase. And as you see, it started to spend again. So I think when my ad account got disabled, Facebook just looked at it as, uh, when it got re-enabled, that it had been punished in a weird way. I think it's just an, some type of bug in Facebook's platform. And so basically, it just needed a kick in the butt to start spending again. And what I wanna show you guys is even as the platform becomes more competitive, especially in times like right now with Black Friday, there's a way to overtake the competition and get those high quality spots on the newsfeed and those high quality audiences. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take you into the ad account and show you how to set up a manual bid and in what scenarios you want to do this. So if you're using CBO, you're going to want to do this at the campaign level. If you're using ad set budget optimization, you're going to do this at the ad set level. So I'm using CBO. So here's my campaign. Just hit edit on the campaign. Come down to campaign bid strategy. And this is where it's at. So 
Lowest cost is essentially automatic bidding. Facebook takes into account your budget, your determined optimization, event goal, and other factors and bids for you. So if something's too high, they'll say, okay, we'll skip this. If something's you know, a good opportunity, they'll bid on it. Cost cap is gonna get you, here I can show you, I'll click on it. And this is gonna aim to get you a very consistent cost per purchase. And I know this sounds good, but let's say your average cost per purchase is like $30. If you put five, Facebook isn't gonna be able to get you those $5 average cost per purchases, so they're just not gonna spend. And so putting a really low cost cap sounds like an amazing idea, but it doesn't work like you would think it would. It's just not gonna spend if it can't achieve it. So putting a really low cost cap is not gonna work. I see this being really beneficial at super high budgets at very loose and lenient uh, average cost per purchases. So this one isn't too useful in, until you're at a huge point of scale and I personally don't use it too often, but that's what it does. Let's go into other options and bid cap. So bid cap is what I use. I'm gonna show you that one last. Target cost, this is gonna let you see how much you can spend and still achieve an average cost per purchase or whatever your optimization goal is. So this one's a little bit different. This is seeing how much you can spend per day and still average this amount. So a target cost, it's only gonna spend if it can achieve that cost per purchase. So once again, if you go too low, it's, uh, it's not gonna do much. But here we have bid cap, and this is where you can outbid your competition. So bid cap tells Facebook, okay, if I put $50, you guys are welcome to bid $50 for a spot on a newsfeed if you're very confident that someone is going to purchase. So let's say the average bid on something is like $3 for that ad spot. If you have a $50 bid cap, you're gonna get a ton of, you're gonna win a lot of auctions. You're gonna win a lot of auctions. So if your ads aren't spending and it's due to competition, or if you're just in a very competitive niche and you wanna you wanna get the best quality audiences, best quality news, news feed delivery locations, you can up your bid cap to like three to five times your target cost per purchase and start winning those and it will spend. It's kind of like opening up the floodgates and giving Facebook the green light to just spend your money and uh, get the things rolling again. So this is a great way to really kick Facebook into gear if they're not delivering as much as you want to. So what I personally did was I upped everything to $50, let it run for two to three days. Once it was spending again, I then dropped it back down to the lowest cost, get the most results for your budget. This is honestly the way to go 95% of the time, but if you are in that competitive niche, if your ad account isn't spending, up your bid cap and open the floodgates, let Facebook start spending. So the Delivery Insights tool is incredibly powerful. It is honestly the most powerful Facebook advertising tool that I've ever come across. It shows you exactly what is going on with your ads, what is going on with the competition, what is going on with your audiences, and it tells you exactly what you need to do to optimize your ads. So if something's not working for you before shutting it off and saying it's not gonna work, jump into Delivery Insights and see why it's not working, fix it, and then watch the results start to pour in. I'm telling you guys, you need to learn about the Delivery Insights, you need to learn about the different strategies, the different bid strategies, and how to fix these, these points of failure. And that's when you're gonna start to see major success with Facebook advertising. So I hope this helped you out. I know this, this tool was a lifesaver for me. It taught me so much about the platform and how to fix and improve my ads. So I think it can do the same for you if you take the time to learn it. If you found value in this video, make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Also leave me a comment. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it. I will answer it. Otherwise, if you don't have any comments in mind, just leave the words, uh, let's spend in the comments. It'll help my channel out through the engagement that you're providing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Dylan out.